These diagrams show the concepts of consumer and producer surplus. Consumer surplus is the difference between what a consumer would pay for a product and what they actually pay for a product. So let's take this example here. There are a few people who would be willing to pay a very high price, as shown by the demand curve, for a product. But they actually only pay the market price. Therefore, these people here would pay that amount there, but actually pay that amount there, the market price. Therefore, there's this surplus which they would pay, but which they don't have to pay. That is their consumer surplus. Likewise, as more and more as the price comes down, more and more people will buy the product. Each of these people would pay a price above the market price, but actually only pay the market price. They all have a consumer surplus. When you get to this point here, this people, these people here pay what the actual price is. And beyond that point, the people are only willing to pay less than the market price, so they don't buy any. So the total consumer surplus is shown by the triangle, which is above the market price and below the demand curve. That area there is always the consumer surplus. Consumer surplus will change as the market price changes. Imagine the price going up. If the price goes up, this triangle becomes smaller. The consumer surplus goes down. Imagine likewise what would happen if the demand curve became more elastic. If the demand curve becomes more elastic, it would pivot round like that. The area would go down and so consumer surplus would decrease. It will of course also change if the demand curve shifts in or out. Producer surplus is almost the same, but this time we're saying some low cost producers would produce a product for a very low price, but they actually get paid the market price. As the price goes up, less efficient firms come in and they would all produce for a price which is less than the market price. Only when you get to this point here do they need to be paid the market price. So this area below the market price and above the supply curve represents the surplus that suppliers get above and beyond what they need and it's called producer surplus.